on the updates so far on the flood relief work that uh, Gosa has been involved with. Akif, over to you. All right, thank you, uh, Manzoo Bhai. Uh, so I just want to give a brief update of Pakistan flood relief um, and just a brief introduction of Al Qasr. So just want to highlight some important facts. Al Qasr auditor is Ram Associates, and Al Qasr attorney is Shank Prince Price Smith and King LLC. Um, the mission of Al Qasr is to uplift the standard of living by developing uh, academic institutes. Um, and providing social support structure to the needy. The purpose of this session uh, is this Zoom call is actually to resettle almost 400, 400 to 500 families through reconstruction or repair of houses and to introduce Al Qasr to the wider community in the United States. Um, and I just want to quickly go over um, what the what is Al Qasr. So Al Qasr is actually um, the conventional model of charitable organization is that there's a community at large and then the community and then there's like community in need and people donate for specific causes and then they distribute directly to the people in need. However, the al Qasr's model is a little different. It's like an organization of an organization where al Qasr has partnered with the existing grassroots organizations so that they will, uh, Al Qasr will strengthen those organizations rather than building their own shop. Um, this way, we, we um, in our experience, because we're in here for a long time, we feel like it's more productive and it helps community in large and effective ways because we get uh, input from our um, collaborative organizations. They, they are in the grassroots and it's better for us like in US, that we cannot always monitor those people in need. So it's always better to just help grassroots organizations because they are there for a long time. And this is Al Qasr's, uh, I just wanna, on the finance side, Al Qasr donate, uh, donations yearly comparison. Al Qasr started in 2008 around time. In the recent past five, six years, we grow um, a lot from less than $100,000 in donations. Now we are, alhamdulillah, uh, by now, these are November numbers, and we are almost close to 900,000 and hoping to reach a million dollars this year. This is a uh, cost of donation and disbursement yearly comparison. We grow, as you see, donation disbursement as much as donations we get. We usually distribute this to the organization. We usually do not hold that much money. Um, and you see this is for the last uh, 2021, we disperse more because we have some uh, balance here. So this is usually a trend in this year, since we are actually in November, so we are still have some time for disbursement, but this gap is usually around uh, for the money or for the phase two uh, reconstruction of the houses, where if you, uh, if you heard our first call, where most of our collaborative organizations were asking us to hold off for some money so that we can utilize those money for the reconstruction of our houses. So we actually sanction that money for the houses, but this is just that we want, we will use for the reconstruction of houses and hopefully soon because we, we actually have some deliberations on the construction and how we are going to construct. We identified those areas and and all the other things. Um, uh, so Al Qasr, as you know, Al Qasr's main focus is providing education. Um, and this is just a brief introduction, you know, just a brief numbers wise, like how many institutes we support, and mostly we uh, give donations uh, for the higher education currently. We are supporting thousand students for their higher education needs to some of these institutes like NED University, University of Karachi, Institute of Business Administration, IBA Karachi, and some other institutes that we support. We also support uh, students on their secondary education and some families that we support. Uh, and there are like some orphanages that we support, which is Al Qasr uh, Sweet Home Parchana, which is probably famous, and the Safina Sweet Home in Islamabad. This is just uh, also one, just want to highlight, want to give some numbers on like total funds received from January to November this year. We received Alhamdulillah eight hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars, close to, and for the flood we we received two hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. Uh, total funds that we disperse is around six hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. That include the flood relief, and that's mostly the phase one money that we uh, provided 
Uh, also, we just wanted to highlight that um, uh, we almost have very little expenses. Those are usually the bank fees or other charges. Uh, all of the al um directors or whoever work for al Qasr is usually all of all are volunteers, so we don't have any employees that we support. So uh, just want to whatever you donate, it usually goes directly to the uh, to the people on ground. Uh, funds used in Pakistan to help community. So we have phase one and phase two. Our first thing was rehabilitation. We provided, we disbursed actually $51,000 for the initial rehabilitation plan, where, plan where we used some of these organizations, Ifta, Mawa, um, and Al Qasr for like mostly food distribution in Sindh and Balochistan, Punjab, Blankenshin in Balochistan, and food distribution in Parachan are. Uh, for the phase two reconstruction, which is now currently we are in, and we want uh, people to help us in that, we have some fund that's what we sanctioned and that's what we provided. Uh, some of these funds, like thirty-one thousand dollars, was already disbursed in uh, right now, and we are building reconstructing some houses. We have some cash that we wanna we already sanctioned, and we start working on that. But the dem the demand that we are getting is tremendous. So this is some of the number of houses destroyed and damaged by area. You can see houses destroyed completely, houses with major damage, houses with minor damage. So total numbers is like around thousand houses that we got demand. That's not the total houses that's damaged or um, or destroyed. This is just what we got number from collaborative organization. It's around thousand, and this is by Punjab, Sindh, Balochistan, and KPK regions. Uh, most of the damage, if you see the demand that is coming from Punjab and then Sin and then Balochistan 437. So this is some of the working that we were work we were doing work with our collaborative organizations and getting the numbers like how much uh, the estimated cost wise it looks like. So this is number of houses destroyed in each of the uh, areas so of Punjab because they're like different organizations that are supporting us in those regions. So we have different numbers and we wanna uh, and these are some of the estimated per cost US dollar. Uh, per houses numbers for each region. They are different based on the different areas. Um, uh, so this is what uh, we discussed internally, how much we could support those organizations. So internally, the, the first goal for us is to at least build 280 uh, houses uh, because they are in high need. And these are some of the breakdown of what we are planning to build houses in Balochistan. We are planning to build houses for 150 houses in Sin 50, South Punjab 50, KPK 30. And these are the these are the costs to build uh, houses in these regions. So this is what we are targeting and this is what we are hoping that our donors will come forward and support us in building those houses. Um, uh, we actually discuss with different, our different regions, uh, uh, um, and like different, we, we talk with people in different states and this is just the target that we put in for our teams uh, in US uh, so that they have some target because people were asking us some target numbers that they will work on um, uh, getting the money. And, and so this is for Maryland, Virginia, DC region. We are we are hoping that we will get money for uh, 100 houses to build, which is like 159,000 Illinois and this uh, Georgia, Kansas, um, Minnesota, and we were hoping to get $119,000 for to build 75 houses. New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. We have big presence there, so we are hoping to get at least get 100 houses. Um, people will uh, contribute to build 100 houses for 159,000. California 50, and same taxes that we are hoping to get at least people um, pledge 50 houses for from these regions. These are some of the costs. We just want to make sure we just want to uh, uh, tell our show our donors that how we our internal workings going on with different organizations. So I just put some slides on like cost sheets that we work with different uh, organizations, Boundary Wall and all the other details. This is the MAVA, um, that the MAVA distribute funds and, and on ground. So this is just some of the disbursement. This is IFTA provided us cost seeds. And these are uh, the Al-Qasr, the, the, they provided us cost sheet. Uh, so these are just some of the, some of the examples. Um, so we work as as uh, as we presented that uh, Al Qasr work with different organizations within U.S. and outside of U.S. 
they're like organizations in ground that we support. These are some of the organizations in ground in Pakistan, India, and within Pakistan, we support uh, in Karachi, different organizations, Lahore, Islamabad. So these are just a list of some organizations that we support. Uh, we work with actually to provide uh, support in the community. And these are some of the US collaborations and partner organizations that would that are within US they support us they um, we usually work with them so they're like Astana Zara New Jersey Masjid Ali New Jersey Zanabia New Jersey in Virginia we work with Muhammadiyah Center Nova Shia community and Idara Jafri in Maryland Bethel in Chicago Illinois Anjuman Alabad in San Luis I see Houston I see Chicago uh, Illinois they're like some other but these are like the most um, that we work with and this is just um, like how you can support us. You can go to our website, alkosher.net um, to donate. This is the mailing address for us. You can send us tag. You can also sell uh, us uh, the donations. You can also Venmo or you can uh, electronically transfer money to the Bank of uh, to our Bank of America account. Um, thank you. This is it from my side. Thank you so much, Akif. Uh,